Hello, this is Amy Whalen with Amy's Inklings, and today I wanted to show you how to make this box that houses the left center right game that I posted yesterday. I stamped these blocks with our sophisticated serif stamp set. When I first saw this stamp set in our new occasions catalog, I I knew immediately what I wanted to do with it. It's a great stamp set for creating monograms, but immediately I thought, ooh, I can make some left center right games. So that's what I posted about yesterday, and this is the game and some of the chips. But today I wanted to show you how to make this box. So we'll move the chips and the dice away. And again, we're using sophisticated serifs. Now what we're going to start with is the top piece which measures four and a half by six and a half. The bottom piece, and I'm doing it in red, measures four and seven sixteenths by six and seven sixteenths. So four and seven sixteenths by six and seven sixteenths. So we're going to get our scoring tool out and on the cover I'm going to go ahead and score one inch on all sides. I love this tool. It makes creating boxes and whatnot so much easier and it has a little handy scoring tool in it as well. All right. Oh, excuse me. I've got to do it to the red too. All right. So let's score one inch on all sides of the red piece as well, which again is going to be my base of the box. Okay. Now I can put the scoring tool away. Alrighty. Now, to save time, I actually went ahead and started stamping the cover already. I did the R for um, right in black with a memento pad. I did the C for center with garden green. And now we're going to do the L for left in real red. Now, this game is one of my absolute favorites right now. I'm in a book club that I started at the school where I teach. And we have been meeting and reading books together for many, many years. Well, recently we rented a cabin up in the mountains. And one of the <laughs> club members brought this game. And we had a hoot. You can play the game with the tokens, and I'm using um, poker chips to make this particular game. But when we were in um, the cabin in the mountains, we played with quarters. So the way to win this game is to be the last one holding your chips. Well, when you're the last one holding your quarters, then you get to win the pot. It was a lot of fun. All right, so I've gone ahead and I have um, stamped it scored it one inch on all sides then I for folded on the score lines and now I'm just making these cuts here I'll do the same with the bottom you know at the cabin too I think we were having so much fun that we were making quite a bit of noise and one lady walked up to our cabin and we all kind of looked at her like uh oh we're in trouble and she said I just found out that y'all are here from a book club and I want to know what kind of teachers in a book club have this much fun. And we do. I love my book club ladies. We're the river readers. Alright, if you're making this box I would highly recommend that you use um, the sticky strip but to save time I'm just going to use our Tombow glue. It's a fabulous glue. I use it all the time and what I like about it for cards and other projects is that it dries immediately which can be a challenge sometimes if you place something where it shouldn't be but I absolutely love this glue use it all the time so that's basically how you construct the bottom of the box and I'll do it again for the top put the top upside down fold these little tabs in and that's where you're going to put your glue See how easy this box is? I mean, there's really nothing to it. 
Again, the top measures four and a half by six and a half, and then you do the bottom slightly smaller at four and seven sixteenths by six and seven sixteenths. You want that bottom slightly smaller so that the um, top fits easily over the bottom. So let's go ahead and put it together. All right, and that fits right in there. There you go, see? Very nice. And then you could either close it up with a ribbon. This is real red satin ribbon. Um, you can also make a belly band if you would prefer. But um, it's such a nice way to package it, and it makes such a great gift. In fact, I made several of these at Christmas, this past Christmas season, um, and gave it to co-workers and members of my small group at church, and it was a real big, big success. The game is fun, it's quick, anybody can play, so I hope you do make up some sets and have a great time. Thank you so much for stopping in at Amy's Inglings. Bye-bye.